The World Health Organization has designated the Asbestos Diseases Research Institute as the only WHO collaborating centre for the elimination of asbestos-related diseases. The WHO collaborating centre's goal is to prevent the deaths of over 230,000 people around the world every year through research, education and advocacy. We are pleased to see this working arrangement now formalised in this new WHO collaborating centre. Healthcare professionals, public health administrators, workers, and those exposed to asbestos will benefit from the joint work of ADRI and WHO. Australia is in a very unique position. We had a very long history of using asbestos. Sharing that experience and expertise with other countries is very important so that the other countries essentially do not follow a similar path of this epidemic of asbestos-related disease. The Institute has conducted basic research exploring the cellular and the molecular mechanisms by which asbestos causes cancer and other diseases in the hopes that understanding of those mechanisms will lead to new breakthroughs in treatment of asbestos disease. In the arena of prevention, the Institute has been an international superstar. Uh, under Professor Takahashi's leadership, the Institute has collaborated with governments throughout the Asia Pacific region to put prevention programs in place that improve health and save lives. We want to engage in awareness raising and education for the many developing countries that are still using asbestos at uh, formidable amounts. They lack the infrastructure, they lack the knowledge, expertise to diagnose asbestos-related disease. We travel to these countries together with the WHO and the ILO to conduct technical workshops to improve the country's expertise in diagnosing asbestos-related disease. All of us at the WHO wish the new collaborating center well and I encourage other partners to work with ADRI to make its activities a success. I thank you.